Welcome to the era of AI. Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can design, how you can create a YouTube video, a viral YouTube video, very fast, right? So we will use ChatGPT with Canva in order to create such a video. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first of all, we need to choose a topic. I like sharks. So, I mean, that, not that I like swimming with them, uh, but I actually like to watch documentaries about sharks. That's, that's as the extent of my love for sharks is watching documentaries. And uh, so in this case, I'm going to be creating a video, an educational short about sharks. So without further ado, let's, dry, let, let's dive right into it. So first off, I have to prime ChatGPT, right? So I'm going to say, what is the strangest fact about sharks? And it's going to obviously go ahead and brainstorm the strangest fact known about sharks. Here it says one of the strangest facts about sharks is that for some species are capable of asexual repro reproduction. This process known as parthenogenesis allows a female shark to give birth without mating. What? I never really knew this. Okay, let me tell you something. I never knew this about sharks. Now, if, this is, if this is the case, then probably we can make this video go viral. How about that? So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, so I'm going to ask it now. Um, create voiceover and describe the background video for every 10 seconds for 50 seconds and uh, make sure to make the voiceover rock. So now for every 10 seconds, it's going to create a voiceover and describe the background video to put and we're going to do it in batches for each 10 seconds, for 15, 50 seconds. So that's that makes it five scenes or five sequences. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go back here to canva.com. All right. So inside of Canva, here's the thing. Now, we're not going to use Leonardo at any tool for that matter. We're only going to use Canva and uh, ChatGPT. So I'm going to ask it to provide me or actually put all, put all, the voiceover in one paragraph. So what I'm asking you to do, in other words, is to put all the voiceover in one paragraph. So it says unleash da da da. Okay, uh, I don't need to read it. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the voiceover. Head right back into canva.com. And here inside of Canva, I want you to click create a, a design and then search for shorts. You don't need to use the keyword YouTube and then click and once you've actually searched for the keyword shorts, you can see right here that uh, it's going to show us, uh, it's going to start loading. So just wait a second. There is a certain app called AI Voov. I think I have less low credits in it, uh, but I'm just going to click apps, click apps. And then I want you to search for AI voice. There's also AI voice by Dub, Dub Pub or Dub Hub, I think. Okay. AI voice. Canva has AI voice apps integrated with it, which means that you don't need to go to third-party websites. Uh, just, you can just use AI voice generators from Canva. Of course, you're going to be limited, but it's better than uh, nothing. So here there are a couple of voices. There is James Moore, there's Adam, there's Ariel, there's Liam. I'm just going to stick to uh, Moore or Jensen Moore, and I'm just going to paste my voiceover. My voiceover is only 546 characters long, so... Uh, the limit is 1,000. Uh, but if you have a longer video, then I recommend that you do it in batches. You generate separate voiceovers or invest in 11 Labs, which has just gotten more amazing than ever. Trust me when I tell you this, 11 Labs is the best. If someone from 11 Labs is you know, watching this course, I would just like to say thank you very much because you changed my life, sirs. So I'm going to go back to uh, Canva here. First of all, uh, just uh, scroll down here, the style, friendly, cheerful, hopeful, whispering, excited is what I'm going to go with. You can change the pitch and the speed. And then uh, once you're done, you can click add to design. Okay. It says here insufficient credits. I have zero credits. My bad. All right. Let me go back to apps again. And then let's search for AI voice again. Okay. Um, okay. Let me just search for AI Voov. Hopefully I have some credits in there, uh, but normally if you're using this for the first time, you will still have some credits, but 
you know, obviously you can see that they have chased me out. Uh, so I'm going to paste my characters in here. Now this is Je um, Jenny. It's a female voice. Okay, let's just keep it, you know, why not? So I will be clicking here on generate audio, and this is going to generate the audio for us. Hopefully they don't kick me out again because I'm using this a lot. So I may, yeah, yeah, I think that da, 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 might be because of the SML tags. All right. Okay. Well, let me try a different voice. Let me try maybe... Now, this is premium, they, they say, but let me try, for instance, Ashley. If it doesn't work, then I'm just going to use 11 labs. Okay, well, come on. I'm just going to use 11 labs, but in your case, just if you've never used AI Vuv and, and the other software, you can use them, I think, uh, without a problem. So use them to generate your voice. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and generate a voice with 11 labs. Now, I have uh, a couple of voices here, but... I'm going to go with, uh, you know, Ivy. There's Ivy. Okay, let's go with Ivy. Let's generate speech. Well, this is going to give me... Unleash the beast beneath the waves. Dive deep into the mysterious world of sharks. The... I don't think this voice is really going to make impact, so I'm going to go for Michael. Uh, not to take anything away from the voice, you know, I'm not a political person or anything. I don't have any political affiliations. Uh, but just, uh, you know, for the purpose of, uh, you know... What we're trying to achieve here, we're trying to achieve a mysterious effect. So I'm going to go with Michael, which is an older person, deep and resonant. Unleash the beast beneath the waves. Dive deep into the mysterious world of sharks, the rulers of the ocean. Did you know? Some sharks can embark on a... Actually here, instead of saying unleash the beast, da 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 uh, we're just going to go ahead and remove this part altogether because we just want to get right into it. So I'm going to regenerate. Did you know? Some sharks can embark on a journey of creation all on their own, mastering the art of asexual reproduction. From the ancient depths, they inherit secrets of survival, outliving the dinosaurs with grace and formidable strength. Navigate through their domain, where every ripple tells a story of evolution and mastery. Join us as we reveal the untold tales of these magnificent creatures, guardians of the ocean's mysteries, all right, let's say that, for example, you're interested in this voiceover, even though if I was you, I would edit the voiceover because this voiceover is not really factual at all. It doesn't give a fact. It doesn't state a fact because what you're trying to do with your YouTube video is to inform. So obviously what you need to do is make sure that the voiceover is only informational. Uh, don't ask people, join us, do this, join us, join us, uh, because people won't, uh, won't really relate to that that much. But let's just use this voiceover. There's nothing to it. Uh, once you download your voiceover, you can simply go ahead over here to Canva and then drag your voiceover to the uploads or here directly. In which case, uh, you know, either one of them is good. I'm simply going to drag it here. All right, let's do it again because it obviously failed a couple of times. Now it's, it's, it's here so I can click it. Once you click it, you can see the extent of the voiceover is here. So make sure that you just uh, take this and keep moving it until you get to a point where you can see that uh, your audio has, uh, you know, your, your page has exceeded the uh, voiceover. And then now let's go back to ChatGPT for the scenes. So ChatGPT has described each scene. So for from zero to 10 seconds, uh, a drone shot of deep blue sea, da, 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 da. Okay, so let's just go ahead here and uh, transition to underwater scenes. So I'm gonna copy the deep blue sea. I'm gonna go to Canva elements. And then what you want to do, you want to paste this in Canva Elements. And you want to go and look for a video of the Deep Blue Sea right from up top. So I'm just going to go and say drone, drone view of Deep Blue Sea. And obviously here we have uh, a drone view of the Deep Blue Sea. This, is, this one is pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to go with this one. Now it's going to take the entire screen. So what you want to do, you want to come over here. And you want to actually go ahead and and, uh, and just, just click done, but you want to move the needle back here. You just want to take a couple of seconds, maybe two seconds or something. And then you want to split. And when you split the page here, what happens is, or you don't need to split the page actually. Here's what you can do in order for us to organize ourselves better. We have five scenes. In this case, I'm going to use six. So you can go ahead and just, uh, you know, split this, you know, into 
these these five scenes or six scenes to ensure that uh, you just add the scenes now one two three four five I think I'm gonna cut at this point we have six scenes now the first scene you can click it and then you can choose the scene that you have chosen it obviously is gonna take way too much uh, you know space uh, but you can actually just uh, do something like this such as you know just reducing the size of it to kind of fit we don't want it to be that big and you can see that we're kind of fitted fitting this in and then you want to go ahead and just select uh, set the video to the background you want to check if it has any sound if it doesn't have a sound that's better then you want to go to the second scene now the second scene is you know sharks so we want to show some sharks so you want to go ahead and uh, just pick a video of a shark this one seems good so i'm going to click that and then the playback i'm going to double the video speed so that we can have a, a faster video this is a scary video but it's going to work really great and then you can go to second scene here the scene shifts to a scene da, da, da. baby sharks okay well let's go ahead and look for some baby sharks baby sharks um and here we have a, a couple of sharks i'm not sure if we can find some baby sharks but you know let's just do our best all right uh, let's just try to look for a scene where there's multiple small sharks are these sharks let's see let's set the video to the background and check okay let me check now these are are they? yeah i think they're baby sharks yeah i think they are uh so this scene as well i'm gonna go ahead and uh play back increase the speed and of course i would like to cut the trim the scene by trimming it manually from here like this you can also trim it by controlling this from here if you'd like so you have canva gives you multiple options by the way so you can you know be free uh this is the other scene now the 20 to 30 scene is and by the way it doesn't have to be 50 seconds per se you know uh, you don't have to follow everything by the book uh here showcase fossils da, da, da. okay so let's go ahead and look for elements you know look for fossils uh, fossils and then we can hit enter okay and then here you can see that uh, there are some videos uh, let's pick some videos of some fossils you know uh, so here we have this uh, particular video so let's click this empty page then go ahead and insert this uh, video of fossils i want to go to the playback option and increase the video speed then i want to go over here and just uh set the video to the background and of course also trim this like so and then continue on so from 30 to 40 we have a uh, tracking shot, hammer, hammerhead sharks. Yeah, that's interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this uh, keyword hammerhead sharks and paste it in here. Then I'm going to go to this scene here. Obviously, the last scenes, we have to add a couple of uh, interesting imagery. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I don't think I found some hammerhead sharks. No, actually, I didn't so let me try hammerhead sharks why is it is there no hammerhead sharks here in canva that's that's quite strange actually all right all right let's see if i don't find it then i'm just gonna probably use the sharks they have all right let's actually use this one i think let me set the video to the background I'm going to go to the playback option, increase the playback, and then just crop what I need. And of course, finally, here we have from 40 to 50. It's a video culminates with a breathtaking sequence of various sharks. Okay, so let's go ahead over here and look for some sharks. Uh, it's surprising that there is no hammerhead shark video on Canva. So um, they should add some because hammerhead sharks is also a species. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a, a scene where there's a lot of sharks running in the water, you know, kind of like this. And uh, here, when it comes to playback, I don't need to speed it up. It's going to set the video to the background. Then I'm going to click on my audio here just to check. Let me move this slightly a little bit or try to make it bigger. I don't think I can. Let me add a page. Yeah, I think my audio stops there, which is convenient. So now we have all the scenes. What we can do is we can add the transition in between them. You can click transition. You can add the match and move transition or any kind of transition you like or the flow transition or anything. Uh, I'm going to add match and move and I'm just going to decrease the duration of the sequence and, or the transition and click enter. Uh, the final 
see, I'm going to try to make the scenes a little bit bigger because I want to make sure that all my audio is spelled correctly because when you add a, when you add a transition, it actually consumes, it consumes from the audio. And you can see here that we have a pretty good video. Now, once you're done, you can just say fun shark fact or fun shark facts. And then you can click on the share button. You can click the download button. And you can go over here and, and actually go for 4K, which is all Ultra HD, and you can download. Okay. So once you have downloaded this, uh, you can open up CapCut if you want to take this video to the next level. You can just open up CapCut because CapCut allows us to add captions. Now they have made them pro, which is quite sad. But I think that if you have the free plan, you still get five shots five free captions before they make it completely uh, pro. Uh, I'm, I'm sad to say this, but uh, let me tell you, these are the changes of any anything in life. Uh, obviously, they started, uh, they gave that for free for, you know, many, many years. Uh, actually, not many years, maybe two years. And uh, yeah, when people started using it a lot, now people are depending on it because there's a lot of creators out there that are depending on it. That's what they do most for the most part. Uh, they figure, okay, you're depending on us. Our feature is great. So you have to pay for it now because we want to make money. This is how it works. All right. So here we, here we are in my pro account in CapCut. I'm just going to click create a project. This is not going to take us so much time, right? It's just a, a final edit. And also uh, you can do some edits in CapCut to the voiceover as well. So you can uh, make sure that you maybe increase the voiceover, maybe even add a music. So let's go over here and into the import section. Now I have downloaded the video, which means I can just click import like this and I can import that scene from my computer. Now, once you have imported the scene, you can just simply drag it into the cover. And uh, once you've imported it to the cover, uh, you can go here and check that the ratio is nine by 16. I know it is. But I just want to make sure it is set to 9 by 16 from CapCut, just in case anything happens. So here, in terms of the ratio, I'm going to click on ratio uh, 9 by 16. And then here, I want you to right click on this video and extract the audio from it so that the audio is now going to be a uh, you know thing of its own. You want to click the audio. And maybe if you have this, if you want to, you can just increase the size of that audio to kind of up it up a little bit. I also have the option, which is enhance the voice. It's a pro option, but I'm going to use it. There is no noise to reduce because uh, this is a, vo a voiceover that was generated by AI. So there are no, there are no problems. Next, I would like you to click on adjustments because what I would like to apply is a fill is a adjustment or a custom filter. So in order to make this video look higher quality, look, look at make more like a movie. Uh, so I'm going to drag the adjustment right to the end of the, to cover everything. And then of course I can just scroll down here. You can see the adjustment filters. You can just go ahead and uh, add a little bit of temperature, some tint, some saturation, some exposure and, and, and contrast and some highlights and maybe some shadows and a little bit, a little bit of, of, of everything. And then you can add some sharpening and some clarity. This is going to give your video an edge. And then you can add a vignette, which is a dark vignette that uh, makes it look like a Hollywood movie. And then once you're done, you need to click on captions here since we're trying to add captions. You have spoken language, English. So English is the caption that we're going to choose. So click on generate. Now they're showing me that I have only five left. Now I'm going to cancel because I, I already have pro uh, membership. So Sometimes they show me here that I need to join pro, but I'm already pro. So let me fix this for a second. All right. So problem solved. I'm already, already pro uh, here. I'm just going to click generate. You know, CapCut, CapCut can sometimes, you know, do or make these types of mistakes. It's okay. Now it's generating the captions right now. And uh, the greatest thing about captions in CapCut is that they have a lot of templates. Okay, so see, sometimes you see these YouTube videos and you're wondering, I mean, are these people hiring anybody to add captions? Well, yes, they might be hiring someone to make their content, but let me tell you something is that, you know, they're just using CapCut templates. 
So here you can see that if you click templates, you have a bunch of templates. I'm going to use this one, the emoji cap cut captions. And you can see it applies there. But our captions are at the bottom. So you want to move the needle uh, somewhere in the middle of any caption you want. And then you want to select all your captions and make sure that you just uh, drag this to the very middle. All right, let me just uh, wait a second here. So I'm dragging it and here it is absolutely in the middle. And uh, one thing here to also note is that you can click captions here and you can check in the basic, you can check if there is any mistake with the text that is added here because sometimes there might be some grammar mistakes that you might want to fix. And uh, once you're done, you're done. Now, as far as the music is concerned, you can go to audio and you can search for some mystery music or some some kind of you know stuff like this. If I search for mystery, there's a lot of mystery music. Uh, so I'm going to click, for instance, this one. Let's check it out. Let's check this one out. This one. This one. Yeah, this one will definitely work. So I'm going to actually drag it here. You can also use uh, some popular music. Like, uh, for instance, uh, I see that they use uh, the music Hoist the Colors High uh, a lot when it comes to uh, in videos with uh, the C in them. Hoist the Colors High. It's actually, a uh, for those of you that don't know where the, the source of that music is, it's a pirate music. And it's a music that was, uh, if you watch the Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, number number three, at the beginning of the movie, when pirates were being uh, persecuted by uh, Lord Cutler Beckett, uh, they actually sang that song at the beginning. Uh, that is the, the the music they sang, and uh, basically that's the music that uh, uh, had went viral. It's still viral for some reason. It's been used for a lot of YouTube shorts and TikTok videos. Now I'm going to go ahead and just uh, decrease the volume on the music because we don't want to overwhelm the voiceover. And then you want to fade it out and you want to fade it in a bit. And uh, of course, I'm going to export before watching because I can watch it right now. But if I watch it right now, it's not going to look really great. I'm going to go for 60 FPS. You can go for uh, 4K quality if you wish. I'm going to go for 1080p. And I'm just going to go ahead to my, put this in my downloads. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say shark video or shark fact video. And uh, I'm just going to hit export. And I'm just going to be waiting until this video renders so that we can watch the video. Did you know? All right. So the video has been successfully rendered. Let's go ahead and watch it. So one, two, three, let's go. Did you know? Some sharks can embark on a journey of creation all on their own, mastering the art of asexual reproduction. From the ancient depths, they inherit secrets of survival, outliving the dinosaurs with grace and formidable strength. Navigate through their domain, where every ripple tells a story of evolution and mastery. Join us as we reveal the untold tales of these magnificent creatures, guardians of the ocean's mysteries, all right, you so know? you can see that uh, this was successful. I hope that you can go ahead and apply this strategy to create more shorts. Obviously, there's a lot of successful channels. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask me, how can you make a successful faceless YouTube channel? Uh, well, one, you have to have made a lot of videos, preferably over 100 videos in your lifetime to achieve mastery when it comes to creating these videos and content creation and gaining insights. Second is you have to keep your eye on the competitors, on people that make videos and then they go viral in uh, three to six months and uh, start making content similar to that. So that's the, the secret. And uh, one of these days, if you get lucky, you might also get a video that gets mil a million, two, three, four, a hundred millions or who knows? I mean, you might be the person. And uh, there is no real... I can't tell you there's the secret formula that you can go and apply right now because there is no such formula. Uh, there's only working and uh, for the most part, it's luck. Uh, but if you succeed, you can succeed at a higher level because I've seen a lot of channels with one video. Uh, they have gained uh, 100,000 subscribers and this is not a, a fake story. This is a real, real story. And so 
maybe that could be you. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video so far. Wishing you the best as always. Passive Income Gen Z signing out. <laughs>